Rotan is actually 32 miles off the coast of Honduras. We're a little island, a chain of islands in the Bay of Honduras. Utila, Guanaja, Cayos Cochinos, and Roatan is in the middle. I've heard a lot of people call it the gem of the Caribbean because it's long, narrow, and uh, green. You can have beautiful beaches, and also it's affordable. Roatan, unlike a lot of the other islands in the Caribbean, is a very mountainous island and it's surrounded by the second largest barrier reef in the world. So we have a lot of different rainforests, birds, and animals that a lot of other tropical islands don't have because they're flat. What makes it really special is it, there's a natural state of um, being, you know, that freedom, being able to be who you are and whenever you're ready to be that person. There are a variety of things to do on the island. Number one, scuba diving. You know, we have iguana parks, uh, underwater museums, um, canopy tours, uh, you know, tours of the island. You can go on a glass bottom boat. You can go diving, snorkeling, parasailing. You can horseback ride, you know, right on the beach. For those who like golfing, there's a new golf course here on the island now. There's also the fishing. And fishing here is, I mean, literally, you jump in your boat, five minutes you're outside the reef, you, you know, you can start letting your lines out. Most parts of the U.S., Florida, Texas, people have to run 60 to 70 miles out from where they start to get into 1,000 or 1,500 feet of water. Here, we can get into 2,000 feet of water in five minutes. The, the biggest thing with fishing here is that you can get in the boat and you're on the fishing grounds. And I think that's why it's awesome. Also, the, the different varieties of fish you could catch. You could catch, uh, you know, wahoo, kingfish, tuna, mahi-mahi. I would say the fishing here is on par with some of the top destinations in the world. As far as variety and species that you, you can catch in the distance that you have to actually travel. That, that's something pretty unique. I personally have had it where I've caught a blue marlin here within 50 minutes of fishing. Welcome to the 15th anniversary International Fishing Tournament of Rotten. Please give an applause to the captain and crew of the Valeria Festival. Roatan's fishing tournament is the same time every year for the 15th of September, which is Honduran Independence Day. We have a huge carnival in West End Town. The fishing tournament is smack dab in the middle of the carnival, so you have children, older people, families, everybody walking the streets, all kind of local foods, drinks, live music, and the fishing tournament right in the middle of it. It makes for a spectacular vacation. The catch and release has been a great thing. Now, by making this move to full catch and release and being members of the IGFA and the Billfish Foundation, we're now internationally known and we're working with a lot of people to conserve and preserve the species that we're enjoying so much every year. Well, it's just part of a global movement, you know, towards preserving the billfish species. It's incredible uh, how well it's worked for us. We've gone from catching you know, a couple of marlin on a tournament, they're releasing, you know, 20 odd in two days of fishing. And I think it's a direct effect of, uh, you know, enforcing the catch and release. And our friends uh, in the neighborhood and the region have also enforced it, and they've seen great results as well. The World 10 International Fishing Tournament has just moved up in the world. We're a uh, destination for the IGFA, International Game Fishing Association. We're also members of the Billfish Foundation, which is finally started a program here where we're catching marlin, tagging them, and releasing them for data later on to find out the migratory tracks. 
In the last few years, we found that Roatan is a breeding ground, a, a nesting area for marlin especially. So we've been learning a lot, improving a lot, and trying to get many, many more um, experienced fishermen that have a love and a passion for the sport that we do. How do you get here? It's a lot easier getting here now than it was before. Well, getting here is actually quite easy. Um, we have Delta and United Airlines that fly weekly from the U.S. to Rotan. So getting here from the U.S. is pretty much just a two hour and a half flight. And you're here. 20 minutes and then you're to the beach from the airport. West Bay Beach geographically is one of the nicest naturally made beaches that you can find in the Caribbean. Because of its geographical position on the island, it's at the western tip of the island which is protected from most of the wind and waves. You know, it's breathtaking because you get to party alongside the green crystal ocean. Uh, you get little shops here and there, bars everywhere, some restaurants, and people are out, they're walking around, you know, it's, and everyone's just happy to be there. Well, Roatan has a vast amount of accommodations. You can go from renting a hammock on the beach to renting a 10-bedroom home for several thousand dollars a week. We have condos, we have cabins, hotels, rental cars, transportation, taxis, buses, all of that is at your fingertips and very accessible to everybody. There's not a lot of people actually heard of Rotan. You know, we've just been become more known now in the past years due to the cruise ships coming in. You get more people actually coming here and they're seeing it and they're realizing, you know, how untouched the island is so far. I mean, you, you have people that didn't even know we existed. I would say Roatan is one of the last frontiers that you have in the Caribbean that you can find a lot of local heritage, a lot of local influence from past um, civilizations, and it gives you a very cultural feel when you go from community to community in the island and it's not just tourism. We're still a virgin island. You know, um, we haven't been discovered by, by everyone in the world and even though the exposure every day is bigger and we're out there more and more each time, I think it's like now's the time to come in and really see what Rotan is, because it will keep growing, but now's the time to catch it and enjoy all its nature at its best.